This is going to be a real short video. Um, I had some people that were asking about can and beaver tails, Taylor Planet, and um, some other forums and even Facebook and so on. I just thought I'd show what works for me. This is my solution. I got beaver tails soaking in here right now. They've probably been in here for a week or so, some of them. I don't know that you have to go that long. I'd go minimum of five days. This is a mixture. All it is is um, rubbing alcohol and glycerin. And supposedly it should be half and half. And this is the glycerin I use. And I think this is important that you get good glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin. And I get it from Essential Depot. Um, before I was using the same thing, but I had spotty results, and I think I was either going too light on the glycerin or I was using a lower spray of it. Now, all I do, and I'm not showing the part where you flush your beaver tail. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about how to remove a beaver tail and flush it. I would do that if I had one on hand, but right now I don't have a fresh beaver on hand. I leave them in there for two weeks, whatever. You can leave them in there for a month if you want. It won't hurt anything. And they sm it smells very strongly of alcohol, but that smell will evaporate very quickly once you take them up. Now, these are finished tails right here. All I do, I take them out of there. I stretch them as tight as I can, as fly as I can. And I'm using a stretcher board just because it's convenient. But um, there's nothing to it. Now, this is... I don't work the tail to get it flexible. This is how flexible they come out. Now you could work this some with your hands and get it a little more flexible. The other thing is these have the scales still on them. You can do them taking the scales off. I really haven't experimented with that yet very much. I'm starting to do some of that. That's a whole different ball game. Uh, you can bark can them that way, but I haven't really got into that much, so I can't say much about that yet. Now, you can see this is plenty flexible enough to make a wallet out of. Here's a wallet with a bark can on the inside, beaver tail on the outside. And you can sew right through this stuff with clover's needles, but um, it's a very tough material. Uh, another thing I made, and this one, this tail is somewhat more stiff at the top, but it, it's still flexible. Sometimes you want them stiffer because for stuff like this, it's actually better not to have them super flexible. This is a nice sheath, and you can form it to the knife and, you know, make it the size you need. Very easy to work with. Let's see, what else? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, there, there isn't really much to it as far as the main thing I would say is get it flush very well. Um, I just got water in this. But um, if they come out a little greasy on the back, which isn't a little greasy, I will take rubbing alcohol on a rag and, and wipe it down or even on the front. And it cleans them up a little bit. It's not a big deal, but you know, I don't like them real greasy. Um, so I don't really think it's a hard process to do. And there's so many things you can do with these. I make uh, cell phone cases. This is a stiffer one. Um, Sometimes you want them stiffer, like I said, cell phone cases. It's all kinds of stuff you can make out of them, but I think that's about it for now. And if I successfully bark can some of them, maybe I'll do a, a second video on that.